Hi there, today we'll be looking at atomic structure. We'll start off by taking a look inside the atom. At the centre of every atom, there is a small positive nucleus. This is orbited by negative electrons, which are grouped in shells. While this is the most commonly used model of the atom, it's important to remember that this is not what an atom actually looks like. Let's take a closer look inside the nucleus now. Inside, we have two types of subatomic particle, neutrally charged neutrons and positively charged protons. These positively charged protons give the nucleus its overall positive charge. If you're struggling to remember the relative charges of these two subatomic particles, the alliteration between their charge and names might help. Neutrons are neutrally charged, and protons are positively charged. Protons, neutrons and electrons are all incredibly small. Their masses and charges are also very small. We describe the masses and charges relative to each other. That's to avoid writing 27 zeros each time if we were to use kilograms. You need to know the relative masses and charges for neutrons, protons and electrons. Neutrons have no relative charge. Protons, which are positive, have a relative charge of positive 1. And electrons, which are negative, have a relative charge of negative 1. Neutrons and protons both have a relative mass of 1. The mass of an electron, however, is 2,000 times smaller than these. You won't need to know the relative mass of an electron in your exam, and you can just use the term negligible. This means it's so small that it's unimportant. In an atom, the number of protons and electrons are equal. We know this because atoms have an overall neutral charge. If this weren't the case, then every atom would repel each other, and everything you see around you wouldn't exist. Thankfully that doesn't happen. We know that protons have a charge of positive 1, and that electrons have a charge of negative 1. So, for atoms to be neutral, the number of protons must equal the number of electrons, so their charges cancel out to zero. When the number of electrons is not equal to the number of protons, we call that atom an ion. In this video today we have covered that the nucleus is positive and contains protons and neutrons. Protons, neutrons and electrons all have different relative masses and charges. You need to be able to recall these in an exam, apart from the relative mass of an electron, which we can describe as negligible. And finally, in a neutral atom, the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons. Don't forget to check out all our other fantastic revision resources at Save My Exams.